Greetings, this is Matt Faiello, and I'm back for another Intersight Managed Mode Expert Series video. And we've spent a whole lot of time talking about domain policies, but now we are at the domain profile video. So uh, we're going to discuss a few slides and then show a quick demonstration. And with that, let's get started. Okay, I wanted to flash this slide to you uh, for your information. Uh, but we're not going to spend a whole lot of time briefing this whole slide because we have a separate video titled Management Modes and Order of Operations Overview uh, that will brief this entire slide. Um, but we are going to focus a little bit on the middle part here, Configure Fabric Interconnect. So with that, let's go to the next slide. Okay, and, and in this slide here, we have you know our two different management modes, uh, UCSM management mode, traditional legacy management mode of UCS, and then down below, uh, intersite managed mode. And the big difference here that I want to spell out, probably one of the biggest differences between UCS and intersite IMM, uh, is the fact that when you configure the FI in UCS manager, it's all click, 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 okay? Um, click for unified ports, click for port roles, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas down below, uh, with Intersight Managed Mode, it is 100% policy-based. You have to create the domain policies and then put those into a domain profile uh, and then deploy the domain profile. And of course, that's what this video is about. We'll be talking about the domain profile. Okay, and talking about a domain profile, uh, of course, uh, you need to have the requisite domain policies. So uh, if you go out to Intersight and go to Infrastructure Service and go to Policies and then uh, filter down to UCS domain, you're going to see 15 domain policies. Now, you might not use every single policy. Uh, some are use case driven. Okay, but this is in fact where you'd want to go and you'd want to build out these policies. And of course, we have a dedicated video for each and every one of these policies. So be sure to check that out. Be familiar with that. Um, it will help you then to go ahead and build your domain profile. In talking about domain profiles, um, this is a new entity for Intersight Managed Mode. Uh, this did not exist in UCS Central, uh, did not exist, of course, in UCS Manager. Um, the whole idea of being able to take the fabric settings themselves, put them in policies, and then deploy a profile down to the fabric interconnects. Um, it's, it's not necessarily a new idea because uh, over the years, working extensively with UCS Central, I had customers periodically request something like this. They said you have service profiles for the service for the servers, you have chassis profiles for the chassis. Why don't we have a domain profile or fabric profile for the fabric interconnects? Well, uh, we do, and in, now in Intersight managed mode. So, so this is the vehicle that you're going to use to configure your unified ports, port roles, port channels. And, and other various fabric uh, policies like QoS, NTP. Um, and you're gonna use that and you're gonna be able to replicate that, clone that uh, domain profile to another domain profile for rapid deployment out to your UCS uh, ecosystem. So really this domain profile uh, construct, it's the first thing you need to do. You build your domain policies and then your domain profile. Um, and I say it's the first thing because you've claimed your hardware, your fabric interconnects to Intersight, but you're not seeing any chassis, you're not seeing any blades. And the reason for that is you need to be able to configure those ports and, and make those ports hot on the fabric interconnect before even discovery will take place. So it is an absolute uh, necessity to build these domain policies and domain profile first and deploy that down to your fabric. Um, Think of it like uh, in UCS Manager when you went in and uh, you did your setup script and you got your, uh, your FIs on the management network and then you hit the UCS Manager splash screen the first time and logged in. All you saw was two fabric interconnects connected with the L1, L2 cables. You didn't see chassis, you didn't see blades. And that's because you haven't enabled unified ports and you haven't uh, made your port roles, your server ports uh, on the fabric interconnect, which was all button push. Now it's all policy that gets encompassed into a domain profile. I do recommend consider doing fabric specific policies, A fabric, B fabric, port policy for A, port policy for B. It does help you and give you flexibility to future change. 
um, and it allows you to, uh, for any disruptive change, to only be disruptive uh, for one fabric at a time because I can deploy the domain profile with just the update to the A policy for fabric A, okay, and then subsequently deploy the domain profile for fabric, uh, for the policy change on fabric B. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, yes, it's more work. You're deploying the domain profile, the changes, you're doing it twice, but it allows a little bit more controlled way of doing it versus blasting the change out to both fabric interconnects at the same time. And I do understand there's a lot of customers out there, they don't want to touch both fabric interconnects with a single operation. Now, you might make an exception to that to like VLANs. Okay, that's a non-disruptive chain, so you can blast your VLANs out to both A and B at the same time. But uh, at least uh, consider maybe having fabric-specific uh, policies within that domain profile. And as with all IMM expert series videos, I'd like to put a graphics pictorial slide in uh, to kind of show the lay of the land of what we're talking about. And, and up to this point in the video series, we've always been focusing on the policies themselves and how they connect back to the domain profile. But I thought just a, a big slide showing all the policies and the connectivity um, back to the domain profile might be helpful. Um, also bear in mind, um, not every single one of these policies uh, is going to get used in all use cases. Classic example, uh, the Ethernet network control policy on the far right um, here. Uh, if you're not doing appliance uplinks and uplink ports, uh, port channels, then you're not going to be using that policy there. However, the majority of these policies you will, in fact, use. Um, obviously, if you're not doing fiber channel, you're not going to have a VSAN policy for either fabric. Um, when you do create your VLANs, you must have a multicast policy. You can't save the VLAN uh, in the policy, uh, the VLAN policy without the multicast policy attached. So you absolutely need that. And uh, you can't deploy a domain profile without a system QoS policy. So there, there are some requisite policies. And again, the vast majority of these you will be using. Consult the individual videos that will help you out. Okay, so let's move on with the demonstration of creating a domain profile. We're back in Intersight and we're an infrastructure service. Uh, we've spent the predominance of our time in the policy section, but now we are in the profile section, specifically UCS domain profiles. And we're going to want to create a domain profile. We're going to want to give this uh, uh, a meaningful name. Click next. And we can either assign our fabric interconnects, our UCS domain now at time of domain profile creation, okay, or we can assign later. Now, if we assign later, okay, then when that pair of fabric interconnects has been claimed to Intersight, we'll need to go back into this domain profile and edit mode and go to this step and actually assign the domain profile to the fabric interconnects okay and then click next okay which saves it and then you can click close so in other words in intersight you don't have to go through click 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 next 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 all the way to the end you can simply go one step beyond where your change is make sure you get the pop-up that it saves okay and then click close so it's very much a two-step process you have to assign the profile to the resource and then deploy, okay? And that, that goes for fabric interconnects with a domain policy. It also goes for servers, okay, with the server profile. You assign the server profile to the compute resource and then deploy it. Okay, so we're gonna say assign later and click next. Uh, here's our VLAN and vSAN configuration. So it's just now a matter of going out and picking uh, the right policy. So here's my VLAN policy. And, and you'll notice here, what's nice is when you select the policy, 
only the the corresponding policy types are are showing up. In other words, I don't get a, a menu of every policy out there. If I'm clicking on the vSAN configuration, I'm only going to see a filtered view of the vSAN policies. Super nice, okay? You can create new from here as well, okay, from this step. And you also, uh, if you've got just dozens or hundreds of policies out there of the same type, uh, you can actually do a search. So that makes it really super nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick my vSAN policy. And that's for Fabric A, and now I'm gonna do it for Fabric B. I am using the use case here of selecting the same policy for VLANs. Okay, I know I talked about fabric specific policies. You certainly can do that, but VLANs might be that one that you have an exception. I absolutely want the same VLANs on both fabrics, okay? 100% the same uh, for high availability for failover. Um, and I also know that that's a non-disruptive change, so I don't mind deploying that particular policy change to both fabrics at the same time. If you believe differently, then have fabric-specific VLAN policies. Now, as for the vSAN, um, I do have different vSAN policies because I have different vSANs, one for fabric A, uh, 10, okay, and one for fabric B, which is 11. Click Next. Now we're gonna do our ports configuration. So I'm gonna select my port policy and I got a port policy for A and I do do fabric specific here because if I make a change that's disruptive, I only want to change one fabric, not both fabrics. I don't wanna take down both fabrics with a disruptive change, okay? So just a, kind of a best practice, something to consider. And uh, we've, we've assigned that and you'll see your fabric interconnect pop in and uh, now we're going to do the B side. Okay, make sure those are the same and the corresponding policies, uh, you know, at least visually they should be the same. The ports should be the same, okay? Although I'm using a separate port policy. Let's click next. And this is all of our administervia type policies that we need to attach that get carried down with the domain profile. Okay, so here's our NTP policies, uh, our syslog policy, uh, network connectivity policy, SNMP policy, and system QoS. Absolutely have to have that guy. Asterisk here, have to have it. Okay, and uh, a switch control policy. Okay, so we got all of our policies attached. Click next. Okay. And now we can just get to the summary screen and you can just review what you've selected. Okay. Not a bad idea to come in here and make sure everything is the way you want it. Okay. So I'm going to click uh, close on that. Notice the deploy is grayed out. The deploy is grayed out because we didn't assign a pair of fabric interconnects to this yet. Uh, we're going to do that later. Okay. So click close. We've created it. Okay. Not assigned. Okay. It's not deployed. It can't be deployed unless it's assigned. Okay. So if we want to assign, then that operation is about clicking, go into edit, Okay, click next. Okay, um, let's see, show assigned, everything's assigned. <laughs> okay, um, so I don't have an available FI pair, but then you would just select that, click next, okay, and then close. And then once you've closed, once you've assigned that, then you're gonna see not assigned, you're gonna be not deployed, you're gonna click that, Okay, go to your menu here and then deploy that out. And you're gonna see that that domain profile gets deployed simultaneously to both Fabric Interconnects. Okay, so that's where, you know, if you're doing something disruptive, uh, have Fabric specific policies, okay? Do it to one Fabric first and then the Fabric, the uh, second Fabric second, okay? Also, I wanna show you here, um, you can clone. So. If you select the right side there and click clone, okay, then uh, again, you can assign later, uh, dictate the number of clones that you want, 
and click next and then you can also uh, affect and put a meaningful name down here of what you want here this is the prefix so if you were doing multiple clones you could have the same prefix and then make it unique down here so if i had if i had three of these if i wanted three clones and i would see uh you know one two and three down here and i could affect the name or type whatever you wish okay and then click clone all right so that concludes our video about domain profiles. I hope you were able to, to learn something and found this informative. Um, stay tuned for more Intersight Managed Mode Expert Series videos. And thank you.